Hey guys, Lee Bratcher here. I'm the president of the Texas Blockchain Council. Welcome to the Texas Blockcast, where we talk about how Texas is becoming the leader in Bitcoin, blockchain, and crypto. You're going to hear from thought leaders, from elected officials, from regulators about how Texas can be at the forefront of this new emerging industry. I recently had the chance to sit down with Texas Governor Greg Abbott to talk to him about how Texas has become such a business-friendly state over the last several decades and how Texas will continue to lead in blockchain innovation. We talked about Bitcoin mining and what that is doing for the grid. We talked about uh, innovation, job growth, innovators and investors and entrepreneurs moving from the West Coast and the East Coast to Texas. Uh, Governor Abbott has been a champion for this industry, a, a strong champion for Texas in the realm of innovation, the realm of business, um, ensuring that we have a light touch regulatory framework so that uh, in, uh, innovators and entrepreneurs want to move to Texas. Uh, the, ta the low taxes doesn't hurt either. Right, so the conversation uh, sprawls from from demand response to um, innovation to policy. So uh, I think you're I think you'll enjoy it. We hope that uh, you'll come to some of the future Texas Blockchain Council events, where you may just get a chance to hear from the governor on other occasions. So enjoy the podcast. I'll jump uh, I'll jump in at the end to to give a few closing remarks. Well, Governor, thanks for being here today. It's I'm a excited pleasure. to have this conversation with you. You have been making Texas a world leader in a lot of industries, and we can now add Bitcoin uh, to that long list. Texas is getting involved uh, early on in this process because we see the, the future of what uh, Bitcoin, of what blockchain means uh, to the, the entire world. Texas wants to be the centerpiece of that. And so we, we are promoting it. We are advancing it, uh, but I would say we're providing the platform uh, for, for those who are involved in blockchain, for those who are involved in uh, Bitcoin, uh, to, to make sure that they're going to have a, a location they can come to uh, that does not have the sense of friction that comes along with high regulation. Mm -hmm. So that makes the ease of business far better uh, and it promotes that innovation. So uh, we will continue advancing in Bitcoin and blockchain uh, is the cutting edge of innovation in the world right now. Absolutely. And the ethos of Texas, you know, one of independent thinking and a can-do attitude aligns really well with the spirit of Bitcoin. So tell us a little bit more about what you have been doing to make Texas Bitcoin country. Well, in, in addition to uh, making it open and, and inviting for people here, we actually, this past session, we passed some laws to make it uh, far better. We, we created uh, a working group to make sure that uh, we're going to be focused on uh, the type of legislation that will make it more inviting. Understand this, and that is when, when Texas engages in legislation, we don't want to be over-regulatory. We, we're kind of anti-regulation, but we want to provide an infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, to make sure uh, that, that blockchain and, and Bitcoin will be able to uh, succeed. So, Governor, um, the demand response program and the world-leading Texas energy industry, what have you seen the Bitcoin mining industry been able to do when they come in and they partner with oil and gas, they partner with you know, executives at ERCOT and the demand response uh, capabilities of curtailing that load? How, what, how has that benefited Texas and the grid? Mm -hmm. So first, you mentioned demand response, which is kind of a sophisticated knowledge about the way this whole process works that your viewers may not know uh, what you're talking about. Let me explain to that and plug it into uh, you, what's Governor. going on in the grid. When you refer to demand response, generally speaking, what that refers to is that in Texas, for your viewers who may not know, uh, we have an open, independent power grid. Um, most states, if not all states, have uh, a heavy regulated uh, power structure, so they have a, a kind of a singular utility program in their state. Texas doesn't have that. We have a, a free market system uh, in the state of Texas uh, where people get to go purchase power uh, from the lowest power provider, a lowest cost power provider. And now w when we do that, uh, uh, what, what happens is that there can be so much demand for power uh, at, at times of uh, high need for power, such as in a, a heavy winter storm, uh, there needs to be a demand response so that people who don't really need power uh, for a few hours or a, a day or so, uh, they, they can ratchet back 
on the, their power demand. So that's the demand response. So that uh, Bitcoin, uh, uh, th- those who make Bitcoin or Ethereum, whatever the case may be, uh, listen, a, a, a few hours of lost power uh, is, is not going to destroy their business, whereas it, it could with the hospital or something like that. So here's, here's the way that it works. And that is, with all of, of the Bitcoin miners in the state of Texas, it is good for our power grid system in this sense. And that is, it creates more demand on an ongoing basis. And uh, that provides the investment incentive uh, for power generators to come invest more, to create more power in the state of Texas. Uh, while working at the same time where uh, the Bitcoin miners are able to, to ratchet back if there is a need uh, for surplus power uh, to keep essential services online. And so it works hand in hand. It's, it's, it's great for the Bitcoin miners mm-hmm. to have, have access to, uh, if not the lowest cost, one of the lowest cost uh, of power in, in the entire world, right. uh, while at the same time being able to uh, generate even more power generation that will lower the cost even more. Absolutely. And when we had that increased generation, that increased base load, and the the peaks are getting shaved off the demand, you know, off of the duck curve, that can only be beneficial for Texas power prices. Consumers right. will, because of that increased supply, have lower power prices. All right, guys, uh, back with you here. That was a great conversation with the governor, obviously. We are excited that the governor of the second largest state uh, in the country that is the ninth largest economy in the world, if it were measured as a country, uh, is interested in this digital assets revolution, uh, is aware of what Bitcoin mining is doing for the grid, is aware of what um, the the ecosystem is b- bringing to cities like Austin, Dallas, Houston, and even the jobs that um, that the the industry is bringing to rural Texas, uh, the jobs and the tax revenue. Um, you know, I want to pull out a couple thoughts here on the demand response piece. He, he kind of defined what that is. The best way to think about that is you look at Bitcoin mining as a demand side battery. Uh, it, it's similar to battery storage in that you're storing up energy for when you need to use it. Bitcoin mining creates an incentive for more generation. So when it turns off and creates that crumple zone for the grid, um, you have that power to push out to other parts of the grid that need it. Uh, so look at it as a demand side battery. Uh, also, when we talked about policy a little bit, uh, know that the next te- Texas legislative session is coming up in January. Um, they will get back to session uh, mid mid to early January, and we'll be off to the races with some several policy initiatives, ranging from uh, Dow legislation, Bitcoin mining, um, and grid stability legislation, uh, working to make sure that Texas gets. Bitcoin or virtual currencies on the balance sheet of the state of Texas and the rainy day fund or otherwise, um, as well as some education initiatives uh, and some resolutions that uh, we plan on working on with our legislative champions. So hope you enjoyed the, the podcast and we'll catch you next time. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here for more content and we'll see you next time.